Well, g'day guys, and welcome to Fishing with Fergie. I'm Peter Ferguson. Have a look at this. What a glorious day in October. Today, bread and butter fishing. We're going to chase some whiting. We love King George whiting. They fight great, they look cool, and they certainly eat great. You see here, I'm getting ready for the day. It's no good getting out here and not having pippies ready. Because if you get onto a hot bite straight away, you'll lose the fish because you're not ready. So we've got pippies. We've got some squid strips and we've even got some pilchard strips here. Pilchard can account for some very big whiting. So what I'm going to do, I've got all my baits ready. I will get a burly pot out. I'll put some pilchards and some um, pippy shells, etc. in that. And we'll show you how we put that down and what we do with that shortly. Stay tuned, guys. Hopefully we catch a few fish. All right, we've only been here probably five minutes. Just got the burly pot in, first rod in the water, and look what's coming here. Not a big one, but it's a good sign. That's the species we want. Now he's obviously a bit small. He'll go back. Greg. But hey, that's a great sign. We came up here to try and find some whiting. And hey, presto. Nice little whiting. Bit small, we'll put him back on this side. Once again, only in the water for a few seconds. This is a better fish. Up and in. Still not a big fish, but that's a good whiting. It'll do. Big and small, we love them all. They all taste good. Slippery suckers. There you go, back on this. I think I got him. No. Well, certainly looks like it's going to be a hot bite. Literally, this rod was in the water. I just didn't even get the bail arm closed over and it got hit. All right, once again, string him in. There you go. Another nice keeper. Keep the cameraman happy, I know what he'll be having for dinner tonight. <laughs> 